Carolyn Shelfot and I'm the coordinator of the Cardiac Rehab Program here at Halton Healthcare and I'm going to be speaking to you about workforce planning. My initial involvement in workforce planning began in fall of 2012 during a transitional planning exercise for operational readiness for the New Oakville Hospital. Engaging and empowering staff in the change management process was immediately viewed as high priority as the inability to do so was considered a high probability, high risk impact negatively for our department. From a patient care perspective, myself, my director Kim Kohlberger and the other rehab and geriatrics managers were concerned about the loss of subject matter experts and the effect that would have on our ability to provide high quality patient care. We wanted to get ahead of the curve and be proactive rather than reactive about workforce planning and my secondment to the position of rehab clinical coordinator full time from December to April of this year allowed me to focus my intention on intensive planning. The first step was to develop a master skill list which basically started a conversation between myself and the staff about their experiences at Halton Healthcare and in the past and their willingness to participate in learning practices in the future. We then reached out to Human Resources to formalize the process and I began to meet bi-weekly with Vanessa for the sole purpose of succession planning. Human Resources provided a demographic analysis of the rehab and geriatric staff in order to identify the percentage of staff who are high risk for retirement and the impact that their retirement would have on the organization from a clinical perspective. Vanessa then developed a survey monkey which was emailed to staff in order to give them a more private forum to express their career plans, their learning needs and their willingness to participate in knowledge transfer in the future. Vanessa analyzed the learning needs, grouping them into themes and presented them to myself, my director and the other managers. We discussed the learning themes, prioritized them and worked them into a timeline according to quarter. The results of the survey were definitely enlightening. We were somewhat reassured by the results, with 94% of staff surveyed reporting that they were planning on making the move to the New Oakville Hospital. According to our demographics, although there were a few subject matter experts who were at high risk for retirement prior to moving or in and around the time of moving to the New Oakville Hospital, there was also a large group of more junior staff that expressed an eagerness to learn. In fact, 80% of staff expressed a desire to learn and grow their skills in the New Oakville Hospital. The process of workforce planning has been extremely successful in reassuring us as managers that staff have in fact begun the process of being engaged in the change management process. It has also mitigated some of our concerns and validated some of our assumptions and moving forward has helped us uncover issues which we may never have learned prior to moving to the New Oakville Hospital and has given us a forum to address them in a proactive fashion. Hand therapy was identified as a high priority area for the first quarter and Vanessa and myself met with the hand therapy group which consisted of physiotherapist, occupational therapist and rehab assistants with their manager to discuss an edu education plan. We are in the process of meeting with the rest of the staff to review the survey results and ensure that we have heard them correctly and that we're able to best meet their needs in a lean environment, whether it means we are going to assist them with creating posters, lunch and learns, or a more formal education process. Next steps will include developing focus groups, continuing to meet specifically with the hand therapy group, and continuing to work over the next three quarters on our learning plan. We will also be pairing more senior mentors with more junior mentees in other areas which have been identified as at risk for loss of knowledge transfer with the development of the New Oakville Hospital. We are also liaising with other departments such as volunteer services where we are trialing a template which has been created in order for departments such as ours to communicate with other departments what our needs and wants are for the New Oakville Hospital. I'm very excited about the next steps to continue to work with Human Resources and this whole process is instrumental for the development of the New Oakville Hospital.